it's me again. I am here coming to you live five minutes from the past video. I've created some scribbles. Uh, I'm going to clean my edges up a little bit. I didn't unfortunately take the time to taper them because again, I mentioned in the other video, I'm a little pressed for time. So what I am going to do, however, I'm going to come in with mine blob brush and I'm going to trim my edges a little bit. So I'm going to come up here, make sure I'm inside the frame. I'm going to click and hold the shift button to keep a straight line. Maybe, or maybe if I click and drag. Yep, no, 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 that's not what I wanted at all. You guys saw I got it to do it in the video. Or, you know what else I could do? No, no, that's a bad idea. Sometimes too many roads lead to room. Okay, so I have to start dragging and then it'll make me a straight line. We'll come clean those up in a second. No, no, that's not what I wanted at all, friend. So let's do this. There we go. If I really wanted to, instead of spending the time meticulously erasing the parts I've gone outside of, I can make my canvas a little bit bigger. Quick reminder on how to do that in just a moment, actually. Because anytime you go to save, like if you save this as a PNG, it will preserve anything that's outside of your box. So actually, I'm going to have you guys serve this, save this as a JPEG. So y'all don't have to worry about that. I didn't get perfectly straight with that, but you know, we'll go in and fix it. Do, do, do. Vary your lines. Variety is the spice of life. Come in, select this, and erase, erase. Maybe I chose a different value of black. If you're finding that it's not uniting, you may, in fact, yep, look at that. That is not F, 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 F. We want, or rather, zero, 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 zero. White is FFFF. So that's actually going to mess me up later. I'm going to back it up. Now, if this happens to you, view, reset, rotate view. Okay. And we're going to fix it. So now, once more with failing, make sure you're working with true black, not true blood, true black. Click, start to drag, hold the, maybe I have to drag longer? No, no, no. Maybe it's command shift. You saw it, I had it. I'm not a wild liar. All right, we're gonna leave it because right now that's neither here nor there. It's nice to have another edge. Maybe I will just go in and change the size of my artboard just a touch. One, two, three. Or, and I'll make a background black square. Like I said, I think it's important for you guys. No, I won't. I'm going to leave that white. I think it's important for you guys to see me make mistakes too, because we all do it. That said, let's talk about the actual illustration now that I've spent, what, three, four minutes rambling. Um, you're going to come in with your blob brush. You're going to pick a different color. Why? Well, you're going to be able to just select that color. So I'm going to turn my stroke off. Nope. And I'm going to go with a nice bright blue. And I actually got so attached to this color, I incorporated it into my final design. I will leave that up to you. You can have black, white, and one color. If you want to just stick with black and white, it still looks pretty cool. There are some very subtle ways of adding in color. If you look at the cat skull example in the class, that was one way. The lining is actually purple on that, which is cool. And I'm going to draw just something simple for you guys. Um, when in doubt, do a fish. So I'm going to do a puffer. This is actually a really popular style of Japanese art that I keep seeing, the Fugus. F-U-G-U. -G that is Japanese for puffer fish. That's a little too small. We're going to go even simpler, guys, because I'm not working with a tablet. Uh, let's try a pair. That's what Pittman did a long time ago. There's my pair. And you can adjust 
the fidelity of your um, blob brush. If you want more of a jitter, you can certainly add that in. If I double click on this, see how I have fidelity turned all the way up because my hands are shaky, shaky. And I'm actually just going to come in and swap this. Nope, nope, I'm not. Illustrator doesn't do that anymore. Okay, I'm just going to fill in my pair, and as long as you're working with the same color, it should, should unite. Just going to come around. And if you'd rather sketch this out first on paper, I'm cool with that. So now that I've got my pair mostly filled in, now I can decide what cuts I want to make. Oops. And by cuts, what do I want to erase from my background? And keep in mind, guys, you do not have to keep your brush uh, tilted and such like this. If you prefer working with a round brush, be all you can be. This is a personal thing of mine. I'm going to draw a leaf. Nice leaf in my pair. This is just a very basic silhouette. So what I need to come in now, I need to make sure just my blue is selected. And I need to come in with my eraser. This time I am going to use a round brush. And I'm going to start to draw. You don't scribble. Don't do it. Be very intentional about where you put your lines. And do not be afraid to vary them. I'm using the bracket key to kind of I am terrible at drawing with a mouse, geez. But it's all right. It's all right. We'll make the best of it. You don't want to be random. Don't just start scratching into your pair or whatever you decide to draw. You want it to follow the form. You want to be intentional. You want to be thinking about, okay, what areas of my picture are going to be solid? Which areas of my picture should have kind of a mixed value? How do you get that with just black and white? Well, you put your strokes closer together. So I want this to kind of look filled in, but not. I'm going to put some hatch marks very close together. Like I said, don't be afraid to change up that line width. Like so. Maybe not like that. And be very intentional about your directions. I am going to pray to whatever technology gods there are that we can get leg in here to do the tablets because uh, this is a special kind of hell just working with the mouse after I used a tablet all summer. I'm gonna draw where that meets that. Now, notice I still left those connected. There's a reason for that, if only barely. Um, now I'm gonna come in directionally this way to show my stem. And I could keep coming in. I'm actually going to fix this. This is too pointy. Make sure before you erase anything, your color is the only thing that's selected. Otherwise, you will erase parts of your background that you maybe didn't mean to. Come in and fix that. I don't want a deformed pair. All right, so there's my pair so far. Now what I need to do, deselect your pair or whatever you decide to do and you need to select your background. I usually do this because these are all connected by doing this. Now I can come in with my eraser, big size. Hey, Whited just texted me. Hi, Whited. And I'm going to come in and erase. Somehow that one line didn't get selected. OK. OK, Boomer. Oh, it's because it ended. OK, I'll come back and grab that in a second. So if you don't select your black, come up and do the other side. Notice I selected my pair. Don't do it. Don't select your color. You'll erase more than you intended. Sorry, this is a rambling one, guys. Coffee hasn't kicked in. That's my excuse. If you have little bits like this, you're going to have to just keep an eye out. Use the shift button to select those. Come in and get rid of them. Same thing there. And here, this is why we zoom in, children, because clicking is hard. One, 
two, three. I may not be the most succinct person, but at least I'm entertaining. There we go. So now I should be able to come in and carve that out. The other thing you can do before you change your colors, my friends, my friends, is I could in fact have just gone in and selected all my black lines with the magic wand, which I will do next. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's all good, guys. There's that. Nope, that's the blob brush. Wrong lever, Kronk. Same deal. Select that bit. And erase inside mine pair. Should I be more careful? Yes. Am I rushing? A little bit. This is why I show you guys my big fancy fan, uh, finished example on the frog page so that it doesn't look like I'm incompetent at drawing pairs. It's just that I'm trying to go fast and get you as much information as fast as possible. So there we go. There's my very uh, interesting pair. I could definitely do with some more shading. I could definitely play around, especially like with the line width down here but I've already taken up too much of your time. Another important thing you might want to do is create an outline around your object so it pops. This is eventually going to be turned back to black, so I'm going to come in with my magic wand. It might be hiding underneath one of your other tools, but there's also a shortcut for it. It's Y. Notice how my cursor just changed. You can change the tolerance for it. The lower the tolerance number, the fewer colors it will pick. Right now, I just want black. That's why working in black and white makes this a lot easier. Let's fix that. And I'm going to go around mine pair. Woo! And create kind of an outline to make it pop. Pop it like it's hot. Hot, hot pear on a summer day. Delicious. And You'll see why. This is why I have the fidelity cranked all the way up on Illustrator because I am a shaky, shaky mess. And I'm just kind of coming around. If this was a wood block, the pair itself, this part, would be the flattest level, the uh, highest level of the wood because it would receive the ink first if you were putting it on with a brayer. And then depending on how white something is, that's how deep your cut would be. So not bad. I could definitely add more for this. Let me see if I can find. Nope, it's on my other computer. I have a jellyfish one I can eventually show you guys too. But that is the main gist of it. You can get as complicated or as simple as you want with this. We're going to do this project till Friday. So three days. If you're watching this in another time and place, three days on this project. And I'll be sure to give you more specific advice depending on what you decide to change. Now would be a good time for me to go in and switch my blue. So I'm going to use that Y shortcut for my magic wand. Click. And I am going to change it to black. I would only do this once you're positive you don't want to make any other changes to that particular object. Yay! Look how classy that looks. And now I'm realizing it looks more like an eggplant than a pear, but you knew what I meant. Maybe I could add some garlic up here. I have a friend that's obsessed with garlic or words. I could apply the same different things to words. I want you to stick with illustration for the first bit of it. But if you look back at my example, that's my screen castify. Um, I did add do no harm. I put this in my graduation portfolio or graduate portfolio and did a lot of like hatching and cross hatching for my stuff. So there's a lot of different ways you can run with this. Let's have some fun.